Okay, so good day everyone. So this time I'll be presenting to you the four step rule for finding the derivative of a function. So you have the four steps to be followed. The first one is we need to consider the function y is equal to f of x. Find f times the quantity of x plus change of x by replacing x by x plus change of x in the function for f of x. So the second step is we need to find find function of x plus change of x minus f of x. And the third part, or the third step, is divide by change of x to obtain this function f of x, f of plus change of x minus f of x over the change of x. And number four, find the limit as change of x approaches to zero to obtain this, the first derivative, which is this part. Okay, so at this point, let us answer the, these three problems. But before that, let us solve first the first equation, which is the basic one. So find the derivative of the function f of x is equal to 3x plus 5. So by the use of the four-step rule, so this is our f of x is equal to 3x plus 5. So first is we need to replace the value for this one, the first step. This is the first step. So f x plus the change of x by replacing x. This x will be replaced by x plus change of x. So is equal to 3 times x plus the change of x and plus 5. So this will become 3x plus 3 change of x plus 5. So this is our first step. Our second step is find f of x plus the change of x minus f of x. So we need to have this part, this answer, will be subtracted to this part. So we have 3x. We have to copy this answer because this part, this is the result of this part. So please, 3 change of x plus 5 minus copy f of x which is 3x plus 5 so we have 3x plus 5 so we have 3x plus 3 change of x plus 5 minus distribute this part so 3x minus 5 so next we need to cancel this part cancel and this is also cancellation so the remaining here is 3 change of x so we are now in step number three so in step number three let us see divide by change of x so we have here f x plus the change of x minus f of x divided by the change of x so this result this part will be divided by three the change of x over the change of x so cancel, we have 3. Okay, so the last portion, we have letter D, is we need to find the limit as x approaches to 0. So limit of f x plus change of x minus f of x at change of x approaches to 0. So we have the limit of 3 as change of x approaches 0, the limit of constant is equal to 3. So the first derivative, so the derivative of f of 3 uh, x is equal to 3. So this is the derivative of this part. Okay, so we are now in problem number 2. So find the derivative of f of x is equal to the square root of x 
Okay, it's equal to the square root of x. So the first step, okay, we have to follow the first step. So the first step is f x plus the change of x. So we need to substitute the value for x here as x plus the change of x. So therefore, the resulting part of this is x plus the change of x. So step number two. In step number two, we have f x plus the change of x minus f of x. So this is the step number two. In step number two, we have the square root of x plus the change of x minus the square root of x. So we, we have to subtract the, this one subtracted by this part. Okay, the resulting of this one is x plus the change of x minus the square root of x. So in step number three, but before going to step number three, so we have to find first the conjugate or we have to rationalize this part. So the rationalization is equal to this part x plus the change of x. If makakita kayo ng ganito, we have to rationalize this part square root of x over 1 times the square root of x plus the change of x plus the square root of x. So this is negative and this is positive. Over the square root of x plus the change of x plus the square root of x. So in this case, at the top part portion, we have the concept of a minus b, a plus b. This is equal to a squared minus b squared. So just square, okay, so we have to square first, square root of x plus the change of x, square, and minus, the b not, not in is the square root of x squared. So this is a shortcut in terms of algebra. So, this will become the square root of x plus the change of x plus the change of x. So, if we're going to simplify this part, this will become x plus the change of x. And the square root of this one, cancel part. Okay. So, this will become minus x. So, over the square root of x plus the change of x plus the square root of x. So this will come cancelled out. So the remaining is the change of x over the square root of x plus the change of x plus the square root of x. Okay. So step number three. In step number three, we have to divide all terms by the square root of x. So f x plus the change of x minus f of x over over the change of x is equal to the change of x over the square root of x plus the change of x plus the square root of x. Since if we're going to divide it one, we need to take the reciprocal. So just simply multiply it by one over the change of x. Kasi pag nilagay natin ito, still we have to find the reciprocal which is 1 over x. So cancel this part. The remaining is 1 over the square root of x plus the change of x plus the square root of x. So the last portion po, number 4, f x plus the change of x minus f of x so, limit na po ito. Limit as change of x approaches to 0. That is change of x. So, we have here the limit of this 1 over the square root of x plus the change of x plus the square root of x as change of x approaches to 0. This will become 1 over so change of x will become 0, so the square root of x 
plus 0 plus the square root of x. So therefore, we have 1 over the square root of x plus the square root of x. So this becomes 1 over the 2 square root of x. So in this case, so uh, we have the first derivative. So therefore, the derivative of x is equal to 1 over the square root of x. Okay, so thank you for watching. Okay, so once again, you have to try this one at your home. So find the first derivative of the function f of x, x cubed plus 2x squared plus 1 using the four-step rule. So you may uh, give your, you may give your uh, solutions, just comment there. Hello guys, thank you for watching and hope you learned something today. And please don't forget to subscribe to Sergio's Math Class.